Now, this goes on to talk about the rapture, and it talks about the glorification. So, as you can see throughout the process, if you read all of 1 Corinthians 15, you will find there is everything that I've talked about. Justification, sanctification, glorification. And just like the Trinity, just like the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, it all fits. It all goes together. Justification, sanctification, glorification. So if you take out any element of the salvation of a man that is saved, being saved, and will be saved, then you cancel out the entirety of the salvation plan. And that's what Greg Jackson does. That's what Chelsea Bedell does. That's what Chrissy Knox does. That's what Lily Girl does. That's what Katie Did does. That's what Barry Scarborough does. That's what Renee Roland does. That's what all of these people do. They cancel out your salvation by saying you don't need to be sanctified. You don't need to be discipled. They'll say, oh, discipleship is a good thing, or confession is a good thing, or repentance is a good thing, but it's not part of your salvation. Yes, it is. It is a three-part form of salvation that starts with justification, leads to sanctification, leads to glorification. And if you doubt me, go look up these terms. Each one of them will show you that justification means that I have been justified. Sanctification means I am being sanctified. And glorification means I will be glorified. So that is the three-pronged part of salvation. Justification, just as if I'd never sinned, sanctified, set apart and for holiness unto God, and glorified into our glorified bodies to be living forever with Christ. Uh, it, it, it pains me. It pains me so much in my heart to know so many people are losing out on the goodness of God because people want to throw out their own doctrines of men and demons to try to confuse them, to try to take away the simplicity of the gospel. As Paul warned about receiving another gospel, another Jesus, and another spirit. It really is this simple. It is just a simple love Jesus and follow him. He will do the rest. Love Jesus and follow him. Oh. Sorry, brothers and sisters, I just... I get so worked up over this stuff because I, I, you know, I listened to Shannon's video and she was just about in tears. And I've listened to some other sisters who've been just about in tears over what is happening in the world. And we know, we know in our heart of hearts that the Lord is coming and it's going to be so soon. And we know so many people are going to be left behind and they're going to wonder why, why, what did I do wrong? It's not what you did wrong, it's what you didn't do. You didn't follow Jesus. You didn't turn to follow him and away from your old life. You love the things of this world more than you love the one who loves your soul. I, I got a word from the Father. I love you, children. I love you. I love all of you. I love all my children every single last one of them, and I don't want to see any of them lost. But I have to come. There has to be a change. We have to move on from what's been. I'm holding back. I'm holding back as long as I can. I want to come, and yet I want more people to come to me before then. But my heart is broken within me. I don't know what's the better thing to do to come and rescue my bride or to wait a little bit longer so more people can be a part. Do you, do you feel the heart of the Father? It's breaking right now. This isn't a game about who's right about which doctrine. It's not about that. It's about loving God, loving Jesus, loving the Holy Spirit. It's not about a doctrine. It's not about a religion or a or an experience or a mental ascent. It's about the love of the Father. He loves you so much, he doesn't want to see you lost. I'm just a man. I'm just a man, and I'm just a man, and I'm just... 
I'm just broken inside for what is coming. And I know my sisters and my brothers are feeling the same thing right now because we know, we know how bad it's gonna be. Please just turn, just turn, just repent. There's still time. Oh, love you, brothers and sisters. I, I gotta go. I'm, I'm just too emotional right now. Ugh. <sighs>